I had a word for you too. I knew you had a word for her. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. You're right. So what God was showing me was, it was like you had a, it was like you were walking up a hill, walking up a hill, but you had boulders on your, your shoulders. And I feel like from a young age, a lot of responsibility was placed on you. You had to be uh, make things happen or no other way was gonna happen. You didn't really have a fallback plan. It was always just you was a fallback. You were playing A, B, and C. And God said, you know, growing up, it put a lot of pressure on you because you, you had to grow up pretty fast. You didn't really get a chance to be like, okay, I'm a kid, a kid, a kid. It was like adult responsibilities were placed on you at a young age. And there's a lot of, uh, there was this baggage I just see you carrying these boulders and you're going up the hill. And God says, all your cares rest upon me. He says, all your cares rest upon me. You no longer have to carry the heavy burdens of today's cares, tomorrow's cares. Because God says, I am your, I fulfill the most that you need. I am your, I am Alpha, I am Omega. I'm the beginning, I am the end. Before me, there was no other God. And he said, even when you went through what you went through, I was with you. Even when you felt like you didn't have a backup plan, God was always your backup plan. And you were never alone. And um, even back in your past, you suffered from loneliness severely. It was like a depression of being feeling like you were alone. No one understood you. No one really got you. You felt kind of like no one really related to you. You were kind of like the black sheep. And God said, um, that's because you were not meant to stand in, stand out. You were meant to, I mean, stand, fit in. You were meant to stand out. I custom made you. I custom built you. Oh, yeah. And he said, it's just kind of like a diamond. It goes through refining. Mm -hmm. It has to go through all the pressure mm -hmm. and all the debris. And then the diamond itself can formulate and format itself. And God says, you are that diamond. You go through tri trials, you go through tribulations, before I am with you. Fear mm -hmm. not, for I am with you. Fear not, for I am God. Fear not, for I am the Alpha. Fear not, for I go before you and beneath you. And even now, there's people that are kind of wondering, how are you still sustaining? from all the stuff that they put you through? How are you still standing from all the stuff that you had to go through at a young age, in your teenage years, in your early 20s? How are you still standing? But it's the blood. It's the blood of Jesus. It's Jehovah. It's Jireh. He says, I am, I am with you. I go before you. I never leave you. I never forsake you. And so he said, I just, he want me to pray with you so that you can know I am God. I am him. I have not left you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. So in your first name? Zena. Zena. The warrior princess, literally. And God says, I go before you. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for Zena, Lord God. Yeah. Zena, Lord God, her spirit is being renewed. Her mind is being renewed, Lord yeah. God. Her heart is being renewed. Her heart is being mended, God. Yeah. Every person that tried to come against her, every family and friend that tried to pretend, pretend to be for her, every betrayal, every backstab, every person that said they were for her and left her, Lord God, you were with her. Yeah. You never left her. You never forsake her, Lord God. Everybody that tried to come against her, Lord God, you said, I, I fight your battles. It's not you, but it's the God in you. It's not you, but it's the God in you. It's not you, but it's the God in you. And he said, I, I just see something. I see God, I see uh, him birthing something in your stomach. I see like you're going through a period of pregnancy and it's not physical pregnancy, but it's supernatural pregnancy that God's birthing something. This is a new spiritual. He said, I am birthing a new season in you. I am birthing a new calling in you. I am birthing a new taste for love, a taste for the anointing. You're yearning after my heart. You're a woman after my heart. Heart. like David was a man after God's own heart he said that is you you are birthing something and it's just like a woman when you go through contractions the pain it's hurting you but then the, when the baby and the final the final outcome is there you forget all of the pain you forget all of the anguish you forget all the uh, all the uh, all the stuff that you went through because the gift is there and God said I am that gift that I'm giving to you he said you're going to things are gonna to start to change he said I'm gonna to start to wake you up at three four o'clock in the morning and you're gonna and he said I've already start to wake you up you're, your sleep has already began to get interrupted. Mm -hmm. He said, now it's time for you to get a pen and a pad. I want you to go get a notepad and write the date and the time, the date and the time, the date and the time, because I'm going to start giving you new revelation. I'm going to start to give you new revelation. I'm going to start to pour. He said, I pour my spirit upon all flesh. I pour my spirit upon all flesh. That's what God said in Joel. I pour my spirit upon all flesh. And he said, I'm going to start to download into you. That's that birthing that you're going through. That's that pregnancy that you've been carrying. He said, that's why the birth 
Lord and seems like it's heavy, but it's not heavy for I carry it all. I make it all light, Lord God says. So we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have called Zena to the front line, God. You have called her to be a warrior. You have called her to be a princess. You have called her to be a queen, Lord God. She'll walk into rooms, Lord God, that she didn't even know she was had qualifications to be in, God. She will start to open up businesses, Lord God, that she didn't even know that she was able to do, Lord God. I just see God for me. He's, I just see like a um, God's blessing you with money, finances. I see him giving you finances. And then not for you, it's for the people that are around you because you have a giving heart already. You always want to give to people. You always want to uh, download to people. You always want to bless people. And God said, now it's time for you to be the blessing, but I'm going to bless you first so you can be the blessing. So we just thank you, Lord God, that we from the soles of her, from the soles of her feet to the top of her head, Lord God, we just ask that you, you command all angels to protect her, Lord God. Let there be no backlash. Let there be no front lash, Lord God. Let no en en enemies, no demons, no nothing try to stop the calling that you have on Zena's life, God. Because Zena was called for the front line, God. Zena was called to be a warrior, God. Zena was called to be set apart from her generation. She was called to be set apart from her family members. That's why it was hard for you to fit in all your life. You felt like you did not belong because God said, I custom made you I custom made you Zena you were customly built and customly made from the time that you were you were formed in your mother's womb Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have to prosper you give you a future and a home hope not to harm you not to give you calamity nothing like that God said I'm going to formulate you so we thank you look God the God said he said I'm opening your ears I'm opening your ears he said, I'm opening your ears. You're going to start to hear me more. That's why you've been getting intermittent sleeping. You've been waking up in the middle of the night here and there, not getting a full sleep because I'm trying to get your attention, Zena. I'm going to download more in you that you didn't even know that you needed. I'm going to download more in you. So I need you to get a pad and a pen and write the dates, even if it's 2 o'clock, even if it's 3 o'clock, even if it's 5 o'clock. I need you to write down these dreams because God said mm -hmm. he's going to start to give you dreams. And the dreams may seem wild. And they may seem like, what in the world, God? God said, I'm going to give you revelation. I'm going to translate to you what the dream means. Just because the dream comes and you may be picking an apple off the tree, but that's not what the connotation of that dream means. He said, I'm going to give you revelation on what that dream means. So don't take the dream literal of what you see. Only believe to what I show you. Only believe what I download into you. Only believe what, to, what I'm going to register into your spirit. So we thank you, Lord God, that I see him even healing your stomach. There was something that was trying to come against your stomach. It was trying to abort Something was trying to give an abortion. The enemy was trying to abort the calling that he had given you. He was trying to abort the pregnancy that I had given to you. The new season will not be aborted in the name of Jesus. Yes. We cast down every demonic witchcraft, every demon trying to come against what you call Zena to be, who you call Zena to be, who you call Zena to be, Lord God. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Yes. And we just relinquish your love, your peace, your joy. All Galatians 5, Lord God, all fruits yes. of the Spirit in Jesus' name, Lord God. For you are for her who could be against her. For you are for her who could be against her. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we cast it now. We call it now, Lord God. We ask it to go now forward, Lord God. Let the nothing stop her. And I see these little uh, strings trying to pull her back, Lord God. We cut the strings out of her back right now, Lord God. The spiritual strings of the enemy trying to stop her mm -hmm. and derail her, Lord God, and slow her down, Lord God, and drag her back to her past, Lord God. He said, you are no longer a part of your past, but you are part of the future, for I have birth within you, Lord God. I think, Lord God, that you're cutting these cords, Lord God, and the enemy has no place, Lord God. The enemy has no place, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray, in Jesus' name, amen. Nice. You have a crown over your head, too, the crown. That crown said, God said, I placed that crown specifically for you. That's why your name is Zena. Zena was a warrior. You are a warrior. I just see you with like a sword chopping off people's heads and necks, Lord God. That's for the that's the war. We are in the war, the Armageddon. I just see you out on the front line. Whoo! <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Powerful anointing. That's God. That's God. Oh, God. I see these strings that were like in your back trying to pull you back. You were slowly dragging. God just said, Anna, she's mine. She's mine. She's mine. I called her from her mother's womb. I knitted her in her mother's womb. I knew the plans I had for her in her mother's womb. Yeah. Jeremiah 29, 11, for our plans to prosper you, God said. Yeah. So we just thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. This is forever missing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, mine is not as long, but um, the Lord said, if there's anybody that you need to, whenever, if you bring someone to your memory to forgive, quickly say an uncommon, crazy, loving prayer, and it'll help erase that. 
Um, what does that mean? Meaning, like, for instance, like, if someone has hurt you, and you know how that name like, remember, he did this and this thing. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord said, quickly say an uncommon crazy prayer for them, like with lots of love and blessings, uncommon intimacy with the Lord, and it will break everything. Just, uh, just start blessing yes, and yes, praying yes. for them. Love your enemy, baby. Because mm. I struggle with that. No more. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. When you do that, there will be no, you'll, you'll have that heart of compassion for your enemy. That... If that's your only hindrance, my love, because your, your anointing is powerful. But if the enemy, because if anything, here we see the enemy so clearly that we don't see the person. We see you. We love you. We don't care what you did over here. Even if you try to kill us, we don't care because we know it's a spirit of death. Mm. And so we're not moved here by that. Mm. That's that's what I love about deliverance. We're not moved by that. We're like, let's deal with this so you no longer feel like this so we can love you. Mm. And then also help you fulfill your kingdom destiny. Mm. Go please. Go please. <laughs> you got it? That's good. You got it. Yeah, that was, what you said, I needed to hear that part. Because I was like, take it, I was like, forgive them, and then I take it back. Because the enemy used to torment me, like, okay, and he'll bring it up, right? I'm like, you know what, Abba, Father, let me go and speak life. So, enemy, you want to go and say something about another person? Let's go. Let me bless him. Let's go. So, he, the enemy is like, uh. <laughs> Know what the, you were Girl, like, seriously, uh, please. I love it when I love when you confuse the enemy when he tries to torment you. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. I'll be your biggest prayer word. You want to curse me? I will be your biggest prayer word. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, that's then good. the enemy has no he has no power. Mm -hmm. No power. Because it's one thing when we pray for people whenever we love them and they love us. But when you pray for your enemy girlfriend, then you're like Satan's like, I'm powerless, like thank you. Mm -hmm. And then you keep going. That's Girl, please. Good. Girl, please. That's good.